On behalf of our publisher, Robert Albritton, Politico, our partners at Google, and the Tory Burch Foundation, I'm pleased to welcome you to the final event of the 2013 Women Rule series. Time has flown. This has been such an incredible experience for all of us, an honor really, to be inspired by so many talented women who have touched so many lives. We cannot thank you enough. Our guests, our speakers, the women who wrote some pretty powerful essays for sharing this journey with us. This series has been a true team effort, but I'd like to give special thanks to Google's Susan Molinari and Tori Birch, both joining us in just a bit, for their continued support and guidance. I'd also like to thank the many people who have worked behind the scenes over the last four months to a year on pulling this together. They've put so much of their energy into this series, and we're really grateful. A special thanks to Politico's Beth Sidhu, Politico's Lois Romano, and Christine DeLarghi, Google's Jesse Suskin, Mystique Cano, and Terry McCullough of the Tory Burch Foundation. Their dedication to the effort has really shown, and I'm really grateful. And now we promise you it will not end here today. We invite you all to continue the conversation with us next year because there is still so much to be done, so many more creative solutions to find, and so many more women to reach out to. A favorite saying for me comes from Madeleine Albright, there is a special place in hell for women who don't offer to help other women. I love that. A key to female leadership and success is deeply rooted in our ability to help each other. So today our summit is dedicated to exploring various marks of leadership. We hope it inspires you. And as you listen to the conversations, please submit your questions to hashtag women rule. Before we get started here on stage, I'd like to again thank Google and the Tory Burch Foundation for their continued partnership in the Women Rule series. They've been terrific partners throughout this very important conversation.